and discussing Versa Passage. Um, tell us, can you tell us a little bit about the film, your perspective of the film, for those that are going to be viewing? Yeah, well, Birds of Passage is the story of a, of a Colombian family, of a Wayu family of the northern part of the country, the Guajira, uh, who is a very traditional family who has lived in this territory forever. And, uh, and it, it's a, a story of the arrival of capitalism in its most pure and its most savage form uh, and how this family has to deal with that arrival, which is like a storm. It's, 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 the, it's the form of the of, of the desire for the marijuana, which is a new plant uh, that uh, foreigners are seeking and craving, and how this family has to deal with the brave new world that is arriving. And uh, it's a story about love, about uh, tragedy. Uh, it's a story of uh, the birth of our modern society and, what, and how this process changed forever the, the fate of our country. Now, can you explain to me the title? Why that title? As I was watching the movie myself, I was like, oh, this is why the title. But then I kept going, like, no, this is the reason why the title. So yes. Can you tell me the birds of passage to Pajaros de Verano? Yeah, we, will, we don't want to uh, use a title that, you, that it's explicative. Uh, we, we think that for us the title is more something that is more evocative. It's, it's, it's a, an image that brings you uh, think why uh, and, and it's related with the relation of the birds with the society. Uh, the, the birds for them has meanings, they are messengers, they are bringing uh, uh, information and contact with the spiritual world but also it's talking about the migratory, um, the migratory uh, birds and the migratory uh, things that uh, comes, arrives and leaves and that's the way how this bonanza, this boom of the marijuana uh, has uh, bring all of this money, this power and, and when the, the period was sent there was nothing. So it, it talk about also the arrival of these uh, metal birds to the to that to the Guajira desert, uh, looking for marijuana, mm -hmm. uh, and talks about in the in the period uh, of the the a, a period uh, called the violence in Colombia. That is strange because we have a very long period of violence, but uh, uh, in the fifties. Uh, the the people who who was carrying guns it, it was called birds, so mm. it it talk about many things uh, uh, and it's uh, it's not something explicative for for us. Speaking right now of violence, you know Colombia known for violence for several years, you know several decades, mm -hmm. um, and you right right now cover the violence part. The way you guys brought in the violence, the the killing, it was very different how did why, why made you come about bringing it so differently not so violently but yet knowing it's there mm -hmm. yes uh, we, we feel that this genre has um, when you talk about gangster films or crime films there's usually a celebration of violence that is implicit that uh, and violence is very appealing on screen and, and and you can make it look very glamorous and very exciting uh, but we decided that even though this was a story that dealt with violence it needed to be portrayed in a different way, so most of the violence is kept off the screen and when it happens it's not a, a shot in a way that is glamorizing, it's, a, it's shot in a way, or uh, you, don't, you don't have that many cuts or that many shots to try to make it exciting and try to turn it into an action sequence. But you have the violence seen from a distance, from very static shots, and uh, which is sort of the anti antithesis of an action scene. Uh, also, when, when, when a violent act is committed, usually the focus is on the person who commits it, the, wondering uh, what, that, what that act of violence has on the person who, who does it, more than on the act of violence itself. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole new way of understanding violence, which uh, has to do with uh, what asking what does that violence mean to us, mean to our society, what's, uh, because the celebration of violence is everywhere, so uh, but, uh, there's very little thought given to its consequences. Mm -hmm. Well, I like that. You didn't focus on the violence part, <laughs> but the story. Um, so I understand you actually, if I'm not mistaken, went to like approach the like native Huayu community, and this was a little if I'm not mistaken, again, from my research I did, it was based on, you know, stories you guys had an opportunity of 
Yes, uh, uh, in the 2007, we were in the region doing uh, research for another film that, that, that Ciro directed in, and we made together, The Wind Journeys, and was set in, in, that, in the same period, in the 60s, in the north of Colombia, but, but was about music. But we, we start to hear about the, the, this history and this period of the Bonanza Marimbera, with, where most of the people in the region were involved. Were involved. Uh, but we didn't. We, we realized at that moment that we didn't know nothing about that period uh, and about the start, uh, and, it, and and the way how the people was telling us the the, the history, uh, telling about uh, the the naive way in a, uh, how most of the society was involved in a business, but at, the, at what ta in that time was not as illegal as is today. The war against drugs was declared in the 70s. Uh, and, uh, and and all the start uh, talk about the change of, of, of the society and and we hear many histories and, and uh, after some years we start to write in the, the the script and we put together histories that that we have here and we create uh, all this uh, family based in the based in the stories based in the research that we have made. Uh, but we create, uh, uh, this is a fictional film based in true stories. Well, thank you so much for your time. This was very informative. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Muchas gracias.